Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So we're continuing on with the controller warning script. And in this video, we're going to fill out the void update function. So what's going to happen is when we come to this screen, we're going to have a background. But more importantly, we're going to have a warning text over the top of it. Now, if the game detects the controller, I don't just want it to load straight to the main menu, which is the next scene. Um, I want the text to slowly fade out before it loads that scene, because I just think it looks more professional. So, because of that, we do need more code. But first thing we're going to do is come to Unity itself. We need a new scene. And we need to save this scene as. We'll come to our scenes folder. And we'll say main menu. And we'll come to our build settings and we'll add that scene at the bottom here. So with that in place let's get cracking with the code so we'll come inside the void update function and we'll say if open and close brackets if controller detected equals true so double equals true no need to close the line off into the comments we'll say if controller detected equals true and what we're going to do is say start core routine. We'll open and close brackets. We'll close the line off. And we'll actually create that core routine now. So come outside the void update function. And we're going to say private. And we want the I enumerator. And we'll give it a name of wait to load main menu open and close brackets will open and close again so let's copy that naming convention we'll come inside the brackets here little speech marks and then we'll copy and paste that in into the comments so we'll say just say start let's copy and paste that naming convention in and we'll say function and in fact, let's fill out the I enumerator now. We're going to say yield return of type new wait for seconds. We'll open and close brackets, we'll close the line off. And I'm going to use a value of two seconds. You may need to change that to suit your project. So let's get this into the comments. So we'll say wait for this. We'll put in brackets and a little x. Wait for this many seconds. And we'll come here. We'll say controller. And this time we want controller conditions met. And now we're going to set that to be equal true just one equal sign true let's close the line off into the comments we'll say set controller conditions met to true so if a controller is detected we'll start this function we'll start this function We'll wait this many seconds to let the text fade. And then we'll set controller conditions met to true. And now we're going to put in the code that we're, what's going to happen when this is equal to true. However, first we'll say if open and close brackets. If controller conditions met is equal double equals false again no need to close the line off so we'll say if 
controller conditions met equals false we'll come to the next line we'll return and we'll close the line off into the comments then do nothing and return so we'll just get that little if block in place so if it is equal to false then we don't need to read the rest of the function however if a controller is detected and we wait and then set it to true then we do want to do something so we'll say if open and close brackets inside the brackets controller conditions met double equals true so in this case if it is equal to true and for this we can open and close brackets again and we'll say if controller conditions met is equal so we'll say equals true let's come inside now and what we need to do is decrease the fade value so we'll say underscore and we want controller warning fade value and we'll minus equal and we want to minus it by the controller warning fade speed and we'll just put times time dot delta time let's close that line off let's break it up for commenting so we'll enter here after the equals i'll enter here as well into the comments so we'll say let's say decrease fade value will come below by fade speed and we'll just say times delta time and we'll enter there so if the controller conditions are met let's start decreasing the fade value which will obviously decrease the warning text fade and we want to say if open and close brackets now we want to make sure that we cannot get a negative on the fade value so we do that quite simply we'll come inside the brackets controller warning fade value is less than zero no need to close the line off into the comments if fade value equals zero underscore controller warning fade value and we'll say equals zero just the one equal sign now so this helps prevent a negative value so if it does go below zero we just set it to equal zero exactly and I'll explain why in a moment but for now let's get this into the comments and we'll say then set fade value to equal zero and you can put exactly if you like and we'll say if open and close brackets will open and close again let's come inside this first set of brackets so we'll say controller warning fade value double equals zero so we're making sure we're getting an exact value of zero here and if it equals that exact value let's get into the comments if fade value and we'll say equals zero and you could put exactly again if you like and we'll set startup finish to be equal to true we'll close the line off into the comments so we'll say set start up finished to true and because all the text will have faded away now we can now load the main menu 
So we'll say scene manager dot load scene. We'll open and close brackets. We'll close the line off inside the brackets, little speech marks, and we'll say main menu. And as always, remember it must be named exactly the same as it is here. Into the comments, we'll say load, and we'll just say main menu. You can put scene on end if you like as well. So let's save that off there. So let's just go through this one last time. If a controller is detected, we start this function. We wait just to give the uh, so the player can actually see the text. We set controller conditions met to true. If it's still equal to false, we'll return. So none of this code will be read unless the controller is detected. But if it is and it ends up being set to equal true here, we'll decrease the fade value of the text will prevent a negative fade value so it can only ever go as low as zero exactly if it does equal zero exactly which means all the text should have faded away let's set startup finish to true and then let then we'll load the next scene in this case the main menu so i hope you understand everything we've done in this video as always, if, the, if there are any questions, please leave them below in the comments or message me and I will always try my best to answer. It may take me a day or two to get round to actually replying, but I always try and reply to any questions. And I think we'll leave it here for now. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you next time. And until then, as always... Bye for now.